Welcome to Soar America. The Soar America team includes Eric, our pilot, who is going to attempt to fly his glider from coast to coast in a series of connected flights and only be the second person to achieve this goal. Join us as we soar, camp, and drive across America. Spring Hill Traffic Glider, Quebec Victor, departing runway 18, Spring Hill. base isn't very high yet, maybe 4,000 feet above the ground, but this first climb out thermal from the airport is better than any thermal I had in the five hour flight yesterday. Uh, this one averaged three and a half knots for a 2,800 foot climb. So hard to beat that. Uh, well, it can be beaten, but man, it beats anything I had the last two days. Nice. I'm about to start my declared task, which is a 106 mile straight flight for a class record for Louisiana, and then I will uh, head on. I'm not sure this is enough altitude to make the uh, jump to the next airport. I'll check that out shortly after starting the task. Well, it's about half an hour into the flight, and I've just uh, committed to the first airport, uh, Magnolia in Arkansas. It doesn't hurt that that airport was only about 20 miles from where I took off. But I just uh, dispatched Julie and Diane, or at least let them know that I have that airport mate so they can do what they want with that info. It's looking pretty good ahead. I don't like the high white cirrus or whatever these layers are, uh, but at least for a good ways, as far as I can see, the uh, the clouds are still decent, so that high stuff is far away, and that sometimes that stuff moves quickly up high. Uh, so it could move this way, it could move that way, who knows. So I'll be keeping an eye on that and what that's doing to soaring conditions ahead. For now it looks good. It's a little after, it's about 20 till 2. Should be soarable till 5.30 or 6 maybe, if I'm lucky. So I have a few hours to work with. Let's see what I can do with it. Well, I'm uh, at the first airport, a few miles beyond it actually. And I still need about 1,500 feet 
to make it to the next one. Unfortunately, the next one is right over there. There's a big blue hole. So I'm going to change change my plan a little bit on the fly and follow, follow this heading follow this heading for a while, try to skirt the blue. So right now I'm heading north northeast, which is not very helpful for getting closer to the Atlantic, but it is helpful for getting around that blue hole at which point I can turn more eastward. So we'll see if I can get around it. Well, I still have the first airport, Magnolia, made with 2,800 feet. And I just barely got the uh, next airport made with enough for comfort. But it is out there in the big blue hole. So I'm changing plans and I'm gonna use what I consider a grade C landing option straight off the nose it's a paved airport but I, I looked at it in satellite imagery and the surface looked pretty rough so I really don't want to have to land there uh, but climb base has risen a little I've been able to to go to about 4,500 feet in the last two climbs the clouds appear to be uh, pretty plentiful and pretty reliable so I'm able to stay up fairly high so I'm willing to take the gamble that I might have to land there so that I can bridge over to the next place I would be okay with landing out in that direction after I get around the north end of this blue hole. So I'll talk to you after I've made a little more progress around the blue hole. Well, I found a little line running due east across the blue hole, a line of weak looking clouds. And, and I would say that this cloud here I'm approaching is the first cloud on the other side of the blue hole so I managed to limp my way across the blue hole on that weak line of clouds and not have to go another 30 miles north before I could start heading east so right now I'm on a sort of east northeast track and that's the general plan for the day is go east northeast that's where conditions are forecast to be best so it's uh been in the air almost an hour and a half and it's 2.30. Well, I got across that blue hole only to let a line of clouds lead me out into the middle of another one. Feels like I've walked the plank. So I found a climb here under a puny looking cloud and I'm wanting to go that way, north, northeast. We'll see, see if I can get high enough to make the jump. Well, I climbed up and jumped across to the northeast, across that big blue streak. And there was a lot of sink in the blue, so I lost my glide to the next airport in the direction I wanted to go. So now I'm flying northwest. Yeah, that's west. Ugh or to bail out option where there are clouds nearby. So hopefully I can get back up over here and get back headed east. Nice surprise, a wispy little cloud uh, just gave me the best thermal of the flight so far. About a 1500 foot climb at an average four knots. Now my next airport is out in there, so hopefully this that little climb will get me uh, into these clouds and I can go that way pretty much due east. But I have it made now with enough margin for comfort. so long as this blue doesn't lead me farther north than I think I should be able should be back on track 
it's uh, five minutes after three. Well, I was running high and fast with a bunch of rich clouds a few miles back and now I'm out under all this high white stuff shading the ground and the thermals are scarce and weak so I'm hoping I can get past this into another sunny area before I get too low. I have the Warren, Arkansas airport about eight miles that way made with 2400 feet so I'm in a comfortable place uh, landing option wise but I would like to uh, jump past that one of course I always keep going east I am headed almost due east right now and have been for some time trying to make up for all that north I had to go earlier so I'll get back with you in a little bit hopefully I'll be higher it is uh, about a quarter till four. Not looking good. Either this cloud saves me or I'm probably done. Okay. That nibble looks promising, but my only landing option is right there. The only one I can reach, and it's out under all that shade from the high cloud. No clouds out there, no cumulus. And I can't reach farther away from the airport. I don't have enough altitude to safely do that and to reach out into the sunnier area. I mean, it looks good out there, but I just don't have the reach to get there and make it back to this airport if needed. So this little thermal here may be my last shot at staying up. It's four o'clock. I've made it about 90 miles. Of course, I'd have to backtrack several to my airport of choice at the moment, so I'd end up only landing 85 or so from where I took off. Mostly northeast, a lot of north in it, so who knows, maybe only 50 or 60 miles closer to the Atlantic. Plenty of daylight left, so I'd sure like to be able to climb back up and get away from this big area of cloud shadow. I'm gonna try my hardest. I better concentrate on that. Well, I spent an excruciating four or five minutes, thankfully it wasn't too long, climbing at less than half a knot. Gave me some time though to uh, watch what was happening, and I saw a very nearby cloud developing I scooted over a little bit and found this so I'm averaging two to three knots in it right now which is uh, good enough the day's average is only a little over two so far so when I come back around I'll show you the direction I'm wanting to go roughly anyway it's close enough to my direction that I'll go in that direction there's a nice line of clouds that's close to where I want to go actually I may take that line that's closer to where I want to go but I think I'll probably be able to climb up connect with uh, with the clouds and take whichever one of those lines suits me but look back in this direction Wow it is shut down to the west and southwest due to all this high cloud cover that stuff is just semi-unpredictable. Where it'll move, when it gets there, uh, how thick it's gonna be. Just have to watch for it, it'll sneak up on you. Well, it was a hard decision, but I took the line of clouds to the left. Still looks good for 10 or 20 miles ahead. The line to the right was dissipating and my uh, 106 mile declared straight line task finish is eight miles that way. And I'm, I'm just not willing to possibly force myself to the ground to complete that task and get that record. Uh, priority number one is go as far east as I can today. So bye bye to that record, but hello to a pretty good looking street ahead. 
but I have no doubt it'll get tough again as it has many times today easy street for a little while and then afraid I might land it is almost 430 and I'm uh, probably almost a hundred miles from where I took off roughly northeast maybe a little more east I've been able to go east more recently so maybe east northeast of where I took off close to a hundred miles maybe I can get another 30 or 40 maybe 50 who knows I should have at least another good hour of conditions we'll see well I had decided to give up on the record attempt but while I was just taking a nice high climb, a couple of decent looking clouds formed in the direction of a task finish. So I'm going to move that way at least. I may not go all the way out there, but I'll at least take a peek at it from one of these clouds. Uh, it might be possible to do it without risking uh, landing out or sinking out. The finish is at an airport, so if I sink out there, I just land would be nice to tag it and keep going so I'll give it a shot I'm at 5,000 feet just took a climb to 5100 the highest one yet still looking pretty good to the east for another 10 miles or so so I'll talk to you in a bit well it cost me a little bit but I just finished the task I had to push out four miles from the clouds into the blue, add a little zigzag into my route for the day to, to get that record. And now I'm going to try to get back on this line of clouds and keep going east. That is interesting, the little cap over the top of the cl cumulus cloud there, fuzzy smooth dome. I believe that means a pretty strong updraft that the cloud is the cloud top is moving up very quickly so while there's no chance of storms in the forecast for today I'm gonna be cautious about flying under this one sometimes it happens with totally benign cumulus uh, often it does it's just an interesting thing to see so I now have McGehee Airport in uh, Arkansas made and I just barely have part of the Mississippi River within glide so a little bit more altitude and I can make it into Mississippi that would be cool it's getting late though it's five o'clock and all the forecasts all the models said that by 5 30 to six the day would just be over uh, not sorable any longer so I don't expect to get a lot farther but maybe I can cross the Mississippi we'll see oh it's a quarter after five there's the Mississippi River I'm about uh, 15 to 20 miles from it I have uh, McGehee, Arkansas, my last Arkansas airport that I uh, thought about maybe needing to land at. I have it made with 2,700 feet. It's 11 miles that way. I could have gone left toward Cleveland, which was my intended route, but look at that. There's one decent cloud over there. That's it. Or stay back over here closer to McGehee and buy myself some time and uh, go to this bank of nice looking clouds just across the river here into Mississippi is an airport in uh, class D airspace uh, it's the mid delta airport I'm not sure what city that's near so I may I may head that way and unless they run me off land there if I can find uh, I'm not sure how much more I need I need how much do I need 
I need about 2,500 feet more altitude to be able to make it there. It's far from a given that I'll find that, and, but if I don't, then I may just end up landing here at McGehee, Arkansas. Very near the Mississippi River, but not across it. So we'll see. Well, it's high drama at the Mississippi River. It's 20 after 5. I need about 2,000 feet to make it across the river to the first decent paved airport. I have the uh, last decent paved airport on the Arkansas side, easily made. But it's 520, so it's kind of late. The day is deteriorating. This is the best thermal I've found probably in an hour. Just saw a little swift catching bugs overhead. We'll see on which side of the Mississippi River will I land. West side in Arkansas or east side in Mississippi. I would rather, I like crossing rivers late in the day. Cloud base tends to be higher late in the day. I've had time to work my way up to cloud base. Uh, I'd really rather not launch and the first part of my flight early in the day be to cross a major river and all the flat, low-lying land around it. So I'd really rather get across the river and land in Mississippi, if for no other reason than that. But, you know, obviously it gets me farther east, so there's that reason too. So hang on. Uh, I'll talk to you in a few minutes and give you an update. Well, it's 5.30. I haven't found an easy answer to the west side or east side question yet. There's my west side landing field right down there and it's kind of a big bank of cumulus like clouds all grown together and casting a lot of shadow I'm flying under it and I'm not finding anything I would remotely call a thermal so I'm trying to move find us an edge of this stuff maybe where there's some sun on the ground but why well, I don't see any in that direction for a long way there's a little bit of a sunny ish spot right there so maybe I can make it there before I get out of, re out of reach of McGee in Arkansas if not I'll just have to turn turn back and land at McGee so we'll see I still need a thousand fifteen hundred feet to comfortably make the jump across the river. So close, but looks like I won't make it. I'm headed under what may be my last cloud I can reach to try. My limit is I require a 1500 foot arrival altitude for McGee, which is now seven miles to the west. And I'm at, I have 1700 feet to McGee right now, so I have 200 feet find something or head west that's it Headed west to land at McGee unless I stumble into some more lift. I'll keep looking all the way there, of course. Just little teasing bumps is all. It's 20 till 6. There's my airport, McGee, Arkansas. Doesn't look like there's a lot to it, though it looks like a plenty fine strip. Just not very many hangars. I don't know that I see any that are enclosed, so uh, in all likelihood we'll be taking the glider apart tonight. It's gonna be bad weather for the next few days anyway, so might not feel good about knowing it's out here in an open hangar. We'll sort that out after I land though. For now, let's land.
McGehee traffic, glider at Quebec Victor, entering left downwind for 36 McGehee. Traffic glider Quebec Victor turning left base for 36 McGee. McGee traffic glider Quebec Victor final for 36 McGee.